it's Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to place two opacity keyframes for your text. This will give you the ability to have your text to close out as another set of text comes in. And then it can be rendered as a video. Open Krita, open a new canvas. Once your Krita canvas appears, you can add whatever base color you would like or develop and or add any artistic work. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers, click the plus sign in order to add a new layer. Once your new layer appears, go to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the Text tool. Then on the canvas, drawing a box, this will cause the text editor window to appear. Once the Krita Text Editor window appears, type what you would like to say. Adjust font, size, and color. Once this is done, click Save and then Close. Once this is done in Krita, go to the toolbox, click on the Move tool. Moving your text to where you would like it and using any other tools to make further adjustments you would like. Once you are happy with your Krita text, go to Layers. Now notice, while creating the text, Krita placed it on a vector layer automatically. Right click on the vector layer, scroll down to merge with layer below and click. If you have not already in layers, shut the eyelet off by clicking it for your base layer. Then highlight the layer holding your credit text. On the credit animation timeline, build your text frames by right clicking the frame spot to the right and clicking create duplicate frame. Keep doing this until you have a good runtime for your text, mine being 25. Whatever number you decide to stop at, remember that number as the number after being 26 will be the starting placement for our second set of Krita text. Once this is done in Krita, we need to decide when we want our text to end. So, I placed extra frames on the timeline, not only as a guide number, but also to assure my opacity keyframe is functioning the way I want. Once this is done in Krita, on the timeline, highlight the frame you would like to place your opacity keyframe in. Mine being 18. Then go to the animation window. Click the add blank frame drop down arrow. Scroll down to add opacity keyframe. And click. Once this is done in Krita, when you move off the frame, you should notice a dot in the frame 
and the frames after the keyframe should not show the text. The ones before it should. Once this is done in Krita and everything looks good, go to Layers, turning back on your base layer eyelet. Then go to your Krita text layer, right click, scroll down to Merge with Layer Below, and click. Once you have done this in Krita, you can give it a playback to see what it is looking like. Then, in the Layers window, click on Add New Layer. Then, once again, click the eyelet of the base layer so as to shut it off. Highlight the new layer, then go to the toolbox, clicking the text tool, and go to the canvas, creating your next text. Make all necessary adjustments for your Krita text, like font size and color. Once you are happy, click Save and Close. Go to the Krita toolbox using the tools for positioning and further resizing and so forth. In layers, go back to the base layer, clicking the layer eyelet so as to turn it on. Move to a frame on the Krita timeline so as you can see both of the text. For this Krita example, I will be placing the second text at the same level, utilizing the first text as a centering reference. Go to the toolbox using the Move tool Move the text on top of the first text and center as necessary or place the text where you would like. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers, right click on the vector layer and scroll down to Merge with Layer Below and click. Turn off the base layer eyelet again. On the credit timeline, go to frame 24. Right click and scroll down to create blank frame. Now notice on my credit timeline, this has pushed my main text frame to frame zero. This is not where we want it. So go to frame zero, grabbing the frame with your mouse, dragging it to frame 25. Now, if you look back from frame 24 to frame zero, they should all be blank. Now on the credit timeline, Place duplicate frames to the number you would like. I chose 50. Then go back to frame 43, go to the Krita animation window, click the drop down arrow at the add blank frame, scroll down to add opacity keyframe, and click. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers, turn the base eyelet back on. Right click on the layers that hold the final text. 
Scroll down to Merge with Layer Below and click. Here are some final credit tips. Set the end frame to 50 and then set the speed to only 10. Keep in mind, while rendering the animation, it will not hold the speed setting. Importing the video into a video editor like KDN Live and reducing the speed setting to 10% will help. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order doorway of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex of Bayou One. Thank you in advance. I am out. Mm -hmm.